Hello everybody and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be doing something a little different and continuing a series that I did the very first video of pretty much a year ago um, called Listening To where I basically go over stuff that I've been listening to lately because uh, there's a few albums that have come out recently and stuff like that that I wanted to talk about but I didn't necessarily feel like doing a full review for them. Uh, so I figured, why not just do something like this and talk about a few different albums in one video and all of that kind of thing. I have a few here that are pretty new, most of them are, and then there's one other one that is not new, but I heard it recently, and uh, I just wanted to talk about that a little bit and all of that, so yeah. So I suppose first I'll get the one out of the way that isn't new, but I heard recently, and that is The Sin in the Sentence by Trivium. Uh, Trivium is a band that I started kind of getting into a little bit recently. I really want to listen to more of their stuff because this is a fantastic album. Uh, I really, really enjoy it. It's kind of metalcore, but it's not like the typical kind of metalcore sound, I guess you could say. It's kind of similar to August Burns Red in that way, where it's metalcore, but it's not like the metalcore kind of thing you would expect or whatever, I don't know. But anyway, it's really good. It's a really great album. I've been listening uh, primarily to the uh, first two songs on the album quite a lot, um, being the title track and Beyond Oblivion, uh, which are my two favorite songs on the album, I would say. At first, Beyond Oblivion was my favorite, but now I might say the title track is my favorite. Beyond Oblivion is still great. I, I really enjoy like the chorus on it and everything. That's the main reason why it was my favorite before. But uh, everything else I just think is done better. and the title track. It's a really good album. If you haven't heard it, definitely check it out. I definitely look forward to hearing more stuff from Trivium. And then as far as the more recent releases, I'll be going from like the oldest to the newest. Um, these have all come out within the last three or four weeks or so. So um, I I've had thought about talking about them and uh, reviewing them or whatever, but of course I didn't get around to doing that, but I still wanted to talk about them because I really enjoy these albums. So uh, first up I've got When the Shadow is Forced into the Light by Swallow the Sun. This is um, a band that, again, I haven't really heard a whole lot of yet, but I really want to after hearing this album. That's really this way for this album and the next one I'm going to talk about. But um, it's the first album I've heard from these guys. I've heard very good things about them, um, but this is the first album I've heard from them. Uh, they're kind of a melodic death metal meets doom metal band, like think bands like maybe Insomnium or Bellacore or uh, stuff like that, uh, that kind of style of melodic death metal, but with a lot of doom metal influence. I, I really enjoyed this album. I thought it was really good. It was my favorite album of the year up until uh, one of the ones I'll mention later, but um, it, I really, really enjoyed it. It's a really fantastic album. I can definitely see it being one of my favorite albums of the year by the end of the year. Of course, that would mean that uh, everything else that comes out this year would have to be worse, which I don't really want to happen, but um, I can definitely see this being one of my favorite albums of this year when the year actually ends. In particular, I really enjoy the title track. Uh, that's a really good song. I also really like The Crimson Crown. That's a very good song as well. That's probably my second favorite song on the album. Firelights is also quite good. I believe that was one of the singles. Actually, I think at least two of those were singles. I can't remember if all three were, but um, those three songs are all really good. I also really enjoy Here on the Black Earth, which is probably my favorite song on the album. Uh, either that or The Crimson Crown. It's kind of a tie between them, but I really enjoy both of those songs. So yeah, it's a really fantastic album, and um, I definitely recommend that you check it out. Second one I've got here, which again, I haven't heard a lot of these guys' stuff, but this is the first album I've heard from them and I really enjoyed it, is Resist by Within Temptation. Now apparently this is a pretty popular band, I guess. I've heard of them, like, occasionally, and I didn't even think they were that big of a band, but apparently they're fairly popular, um, which I didn't actually know. But um, this is a really good album, again, I really enjoyed it. It's kind of hard to define, which I guess is kind of what they were going for as far as like putting it into a particular subgenre or category or something, which I guess is what they were going for with so at least sort of what they were going for with the album. Uh, because in the past they've been very like symphonic metal kind of 
uh, that kind of thing. But this album brings in like electronic elements. It's kind of power metal, symphonic metal, pop metal, and maybe a couple other subgenres. All just and like alternative metal, all just kind of melded together. But it w- works really well. I really enjoy it a lot. There's some songs on here that will just get stuck on your head for days on end. Um, which is what happened to me. And um, it's just a really, really enjoyable album to listen to. I don't like it as much as um, the other, the album before this, When a Shadow's Forced Into the Light, and the one I'll be talking about after. But I do really enjoy it a lot. And the third album I'm going to talk about here, which is so far my favorite album of the year, is From Hell With Love by Beast in Black. Now this is an album that I was not even slightly expecting to be Uh, my favorite album of the year, at least so far. Um, Particularly out of these three releases that I've already talked about, I thought for sure that the Swallow of the Sun album was going to be my favorite. But um, this one ended up taking it. Um, Beast in Black is a relatively new band. I mean, the band members have been doing music for quite a long time. I know at least one of the band members used to be in the band... Um, Battle Beast, which is a power metal band. These guys have been doing music for a while, but they just recently formed this band back uh, a few years ago. They released their debut album in 2017, and this is their second album. But um, I really enjoy this album a lot. Uh, It's not something that I really expected myself to like, but I really like it. Uh, It's kind of power metal meets kind of 80s. Um, if you can think of, like, the typical, like, 80s sound, not necessarily 80s metal sound, although I guess it could be that if you think of, like, hair metal or something, but kind of the typical 80s sound with power metal influence and stuff like that, and you basically get this album. Uh, I really, really enjoy it. It's just a very fun album to listen to, and sometimes I don't always just want something that's, you know, really dark and brooding and, you know, really heavy and aggressive and everything. Sometimes I just want something fun to listen to, so... I really enjoy this album a lot. I really like, um, there's several songs on this album I really like. I like the title track, I like um, Cry Out for a Hero, Repentless, uh, Die by the Blade, uh, Unlimited Sin, Sweet True Lies. Generally like half of this album is like my favorite songs on the album. So. I really enjoy it a lot. If it sounds interesting to you, definitely check it out. Certainly won't regret it. I've heard nothing but good things about this album, and I am inclined to agree. Uh, This is a really fantastic album, and I really like it a lot. So the fifth thing I'm going to talk about, the fourth new release, uh, is Phantom Sessions by August Burns Red. Now this is something that I'm not really going to spend a whole lot of time on because it is just an EP, and it's like a new song, a cover of the Legend of Zelda theme song, Uh, a bonus track that was originally on Phantom Anthem, and then two, um, it's like an acoustic version of one of the songs on Phantom Anthem, and then a uh, MIDI version of another. I can't remember. I think it's coordinates is the acoustic, and then um, the frost is the MIDI, but I might be wrong about that. But the cool thing about this is it came with a brand new song called Midnight, which is quite good. I wouldn't say it's uh, one of the, if I were to include this on Phantom Anthem, it would probably be one of my least favorites, at least right now. I've only heard it a few times. But um, it is still a really good song, and it's new August Burns Red, so if you're a fan of August Burns Red, then go check that out. But that is pretty much it for this video. I just kind of wanted to make this to talk about a whole bunch of music that has come out recently and all of that kind of thing. So uh, let me know what you guys think if you've heard these albums, what you think of them, or if there's any other recent releases that you guys have heard that you think are really good. Uh, There's a whole bunch of albums coming out in the very near future, so maybe I'll do more of these. I might do some reviews and a couple of these kinds of videos, depending on what I actually review or if I actually review anything, because I really have no idea what I'm going to end up doing. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video, and I will see you guys next time. Well... Apparently I have an expiring warranty on my car. I don't own a car. (laughs)